the time has come to see the amazing concert photography by Holger. Uh, Mr. Holger, now it is time for you. You can share your screen, Mr. Holger. Yeah, and now, yes. now you can share your screen and show us your amazing images. Over to you. So, do you see my screen? Yes, yes, it is visible. Okay, thank you very much. First of all, again, thank you very much for inviting me to tell you something about my passion and uh, a hearty welcome to all the members of Dunbar Camera Club and all the guests here. Of course, also to Frank from our GPA Club, who's joined as well. And again, to Barbara, introducing me and connecting us. Uh, within my presentation, I will start after this introduction image about telling something about concert photography in general, about the challenges you're facing there, uh, using, of course, everything with photos. So, And th then I will go on to different photo situations you can shoot at concerts. And I'll go through this and to continue the journey into concert and music photography. As Barbara said in the introduction, uh, my photos uh, have been used for magazines, uh, covers. Here you've got, I've got just a short, uh, some images to show what Barbara said already. Uh, some cover photos, Saltatio Mortis on a music, two music web uh, magazines. Here are two covers of a band, and they also use, and I would say, I'm also doing other photography. This is a, a polar bear it took, the photo, polar bear it took, which was used by this band, Eisbrecher, one of my favorite bands, and uh, that's a live photo they used also for another uh, CD. And here you've got uh, in the middle magazines, uh, uh, other than ones like this one here uh, that used my photos for stories about the bands. And uh, the calendar, Barbara spoke about, this is a calendar of Fury in the Slaughterhouse. We'll come to this, also to those photos where I took them to the situation uh, where I could uh, add four photos to this calendar and a lot of the lost uh, a band I'm abs I absolutely adore. They made a complete calendar only with my photos. Another band is just talking about making a new calendar only with my photos, which is, uh, of course, for me, always an honor and also a great pleasure. And here you've got another photo uh, of Chargo, which was uh, shown in a, a photography, professional photography magazine as photo of the month. Just a little bit about uh, that, so, yes. And just, uh, you see me on screen, but you can also focus to see me here. As I said, first there was my passion for music, then there was concert photography. And this being said, you can imagine that I love listening to music and I also love the bands. And whenever I'm in the pit, I'm taking photos, I'm most of the times also a kind of fanboy, of course, for the bands, uh, because I love the music, I love the bands. And uh, with being uh, successful and doing photos for the bands, uh, uh, there are more and more situations where I can meet the bands afterwards ahead, I'm backstage with them. And this is also a great honor for me, a great pleasure for me. And you see last instance, which I think we'll see some photos of them as well. Combi Christ. This photo, which was also in the top 10 introduction, uh, got some international awards as well. This is Christoph, uh, the guitarist player here, met him to hand out this photo, this print to him. And they were just uh, uh, doing rehearsals for the new album. I joined them, I was with them, uh, heard the first songs, new songs for the first time before everyone else, which was also a big fun. Big, uh, fun for me as a fan of the bands of, of the music. So let's start taking, talking about concert photography in general. Uh, before we start, there was a question, how can we take photos at concerts? Yes, uh, first of all, there need to be concerts. There need to be no lockdown. So, but if there are concerts, it's also a very special kind of photography as you just can't go there and take photos. You need an accreditation to 
be allowed to take your camera with you, at least over here in Germany. And I think it's about the same in India. I'm not quite sure about it. So the first uh, uh, challenge you have to take is to get a photo pass to be uh, an official photographer, to be allowed to take your gear with you and to enter the pit, if there's a pit at all. We'll talk about this later. So, and if you uh, create it, you will get either lanyards like here, or there's some wristbands or just some stickers that show that you are allowed to uh, join the pit. And usually you get those ones just like press or just like photo, which means you're allowed to take the first three songs without flash. It's this, the term talk about concept photography is three songs, no flash. Um, you can see here some with three A's, accessible areas, and here two of the three A's. This means accessible areas. So when you get the accreditation directly via the band or their management, if you're working as their true photographer, you will get this one, which gives you access to probably get onto the stage and maybe even uh, meet them backstage and take photos there or just go there. And this is, of course, uh, something which is uh, always the best thing you can get, uh, not only for photo reasons, but also for being a fan of the music. So now here, talking about the pit and challenges, you can see already some challenges here and something we're going to talk about here. Those both photos were taken at our Luna Festival, uh, which is the festival I usually attend. And here you can see they've got two stages, outdoor stage, the main stage, and an indoor stage. Uh, the outdoor stage, you can see already, you're not alone there within the pit. As you can see, there are a lot of photographers there. And what I said already ahead, uh, choosing your position is not completely your own decision where to stand because everyone wants to get the best position. Usually we all uh, have respect for each other. We are most friends between many of them. So, but nevertheless, you have to find a place where you can take photos. Then you've got all these equipment set up here. And as I said, it's going to be loud. Yes, if you're standing just in front there, you have to wear good ear protection. Now you can here or there. Everyone's wearing ear protection, very important thing. And you've got all this equipment here. You have to find your position. Then there's a cameraman. Just usually he's just got on um, wheels and he's just like going left and right, left and right all the time. So choosing a position is quite difficult to get the, the photo. Unless you uh, have got a full show, then you can remain here when all the others gone and it's easier to move around here, but this cha these challenges remain. Indoor, the pits are even smaller. It's the same festival. Uh, it's not about her, a friend of mine, but as you can see, if you imagine all those photographers also being squeezed inside this pit and everyone who's here wants to go inside this pit as well, it's very crowded, never inside what I said. But there are also shows. Uh, this is Coppelius, a German band playing heavy wood. They're playing heavy metal on wood instruments, as you see with the cello, uh, band with clarinets. Very interesting band. Uh, there are venues, there's absolutely no pit at all. So taking photos there, if you're not uh, allowed to use the balcony, which from where I could take the photo here because I was uh, I'm a friend of the band and uh, working for them quite often whenever they're in Hanover. But here's no pit at all. If you want to take photos there, you have to be really in between the crowd. So no movement at all. You have to be there ahead of the fence and you have to stay at this position. And once you move, your position is gone. And if you can imagine, you won't get there back again. So choose position very well. A good maybe a little hint if you get into the position uh, it's good to know who's singing at which microphone and who's if there's one main singer it's very good to know if he's right or left-handed because if he's right-handed just like say that this one here it's very good to stand have a position on this side so you can take photos with the not with his hand in front of his face uh, so this is if you have the fixed position Keep this in mind, have a look where to stand, best place. Uh, usually not directly in front of the microphone, just a bit to the side and find your position there. One, some more impressions. Uh, yeah, I mentioned already, if you're in the slaughterhouse, uh, the calendar, 
this is where we're backstage with them and being backstage with them is really a great honor because uh, when the bands and musicians are on stage, they are uh, playing a role quite often. They are musicians there. But when they are backstage, they are just ordinary people and they don't want to, they don't behave different just because a camera is there. So it's a great honor to be there and to be part of them. And the challenge is to be there without being seen, to document what's going on but not always, but of course, uh, keep their privacy where it is needed. So, and you can get images like this one. I just love this one because uh, you can see just uh, uh, Christoph uh, Steinschneider from Fury and Slaughterhouse backstage just some moments before the show will start. And he just went into this place there, just alone, separate from all the band members, just having this his time there, playing his instruments, getting ready for the big show, which is was in front in front of twelve thousand people, three days in a row, and we usually talk about sex, drugs, and rock and roll, you know. But backstage, you expect the worst things, but uh, you can't really shocking what you can see there. There's he was just building his X wing with Lego backstage, and they're a real wild band. Well. I experience also uh, not sex drugs and roll, but with alcohol. But usually, it's really they're all professional and they know giving a good show, they need to be prepared, and it's not that wild. Now, this now we're getting more to where the photo itself is something important. This is a photo I really like myself. It's Lord of Lost, where did the collab calendar for being backstage with them. and. Uh, preparing for the show is really something very special for them. Everyone has got his own routine, what he or she is doing, and you know, putting up the makeup, getting ready for it. And uh, uh, the challenge there is just to be there, as I said before, but not being part of it directly, not disturbing, but experiencing finding a position and of course you can imagine also backstage there light is not usually that good because it's not meant to take photos there it's just a, a backstage clerk room and finding a position finding the right uh, frame and taking the light there that's also a kind of challenging thing and also a great thing as a photographer just another impression of what backstage often looks like so this is not a photo I would show usually, but it's as I meant also to show you something about uh, uh, the challenges of concert photography. This is just a right out of cam uh, photo. And this is quite often what you can experience there. Sometimes as I said, there is not enough light. This is, this is the usual situation. But quite often it can also happen that there is too much light on one spot or just so much colorful light and especially with these, those LED lights used today, all the, the color channel run full immediately. And taking photos with this condition, with these conditions where you've got especially red light is real, really challenging. Uh, you will get, you, uh, you get into you have the moment where you have to really decide to take these photos or because for competitions, you're sure this won't be working, but uh, of course, you can get nice situations, nice moments. And what I usually do if I face this one, uh, especially with those color channels running full, is just my hint for you. If you're facing this, is just underexposure, real strong underexposure. I didn't do this here, I was going to show you the challenge, but really underexposure the photo. Go down, use uh, exposure compensation, go down. And then afterwards push it again because especially with red light there will be absolutely no structure left within skin anything so the only thing is go down with exposure under exposure and then push it afterwards again uh, this is the best thing to do and of course images like this quite often will also end as black and white photos because uh, of the, if the color rating is too big the black and white is also a good thing to uh, deal with and what I usually do with this one, the one using Lightroom is using uh, the different color channels to, to, uh, uh, to set uh, the brightness and uh, saturation for each 
color channel individually, which is very useful to do, to use this using shooting raw and then Lightroom with color channels. This is another photo also out of cam what it looked like, uh, but here I said, well, I like this moment. I like this band. I like this motif. So therefore I went uh, for some uh, Photoshop work and uh, of course from technical issues, it's not the perfect photo, but I just love this moment. It's Feierschwanz, a German band I really can recommend. It's they're playing folk metal and fun folk metal, real cool band. And uh, this, is, this is where I tried to get the best out of the situation with editing afterwards. And, uh, but if you're in a club, you will often find the motives like this. And I think it was taken with ISO 1600 or even more. And uh, then it's up to you to make the best out of it. Here's another challenge you can face. Taking the band photo, the last and the final photo is also an honor you can get because this photo is the one the band will use first all the time because it's when they turn towards the photographer with the fans backwards and if they thank the, if they say greet send greetings to the fans via social media afterwards, this is usually the first photo you, they use. So, uh, and if you're asked to take this photo, it's always a great honor. Here I'm with Mandy, a good friend of mine. We took both the challenge, and I know that she was quite uh, not that tall like I am, 190, 1 meter 90. So we said, okay, we both can take the photo together. So just on two levels. Uh, but what, what I want to show here is if you're taking photos outdoor, of course, there's plenty of light, but it was a sunny day with a band here, usually in the shadow of the stage. And right afterwards, there's always the challenge uh, that it's impossible to get. Uh, structure here and structure there. You have to decide. Uh, put, the, put the right light onto the band, you can see something, or, or you will have just shadows, or uh, just, and if doing so, you will have problems with the background because the color, con the light contrast is so big, there's no other way to decide what to do. Also, the challenge you can face is here. Uh, if, to, if you're allowed to do full show and if you've got access all areas, uh, they often use fog, smoke on stage for uh, creating an uh, atmosphere, which is really good if you're down there in the pit, which you can see here. This is just in front of here. There's a small alley. This is also where the first photo was taken with a crowd of photographers. Before taking photos from down there with fog, it's great. You can see the rays of light inside it. It's great. But if you're on stage and taking photos from here towards the uh, crowd, it's not what you're really happy with as a photographer. It's also here trying to make the best out of it afterwards, trying to get uh, the most done if you want to use a photo. They were just like the moment where he's just throwing away his, uh, not throwing away, but throwing it up in the air, uh, his ground stick. What I want to show here is also the building up here. This is called front of house. Uh, this is where all the technicians are at the concert. The light and sound technicians are. And shooting from there is also something you might be allowed to do if you've got uh, the special uh, permission by uh, the band, by the management. Another challenge here, but uh, it can lead to interesting photos is if you're taking photos outdoors, it can be raining. And uh, although my camera equipment here was uh, waterproof to some extent, uh, this was the last photo I took with the camera for a couple of hours because uh, as you know, usually there's a roof above um, the stage and it was raining and raining for some time already. And then suddenly it was coming wind and the wind was just like whoosh, throwing all the water, which was on the roof down on the photographers and I was just like dozens and dozens of uh, uh, bottles of water just coming down on me at the same time. And my camera really, which was a Canon EOS 7D at that time, was broke because we got, got soaked with water. Because, but I was able to take this photo, which I really like is uh, taking uh, mirror photos with water on stage is a rare thing to take when photographing concerts. 
Now we're coming back to Mariluna and to Icebrecher, the band I was talking about ahead. I've chosen this photo for several reasons within here. First of all, you can see what uh, Muka said already ahead. Interesting light conditions to take photos of with uh, rays of light, uh, with, of course, light and shadow. But here I've taken this photo also. First of all, you can see the cameraman I was showing from the pit. That's where his track is. He's going left and right. You can see the equipment there, here, what I was talking about. But the main reason here is, in former times, the fans at concerts, they showed this at metal concerts. Now, now they show quite often this. They hold up their smartphones, which can be interesting when you're, when you're taking photos from up here. Uh, when you're taking photos from the back of the crowd, just the head of, of them, uh, which is something I really like to do as well, because you get, get nice atmospheric photos from there. It can be really annoying if you've got dozens of photos of smartphones held up in the air with the bright uh, uh, displays facing towards you. So this is something also you're facing, because this photo is taken at a small club. Uh, I went backstage, and also a trick I have here, before the concert starts, I, I go to the bar at this venue, and I ask for a Coke cradle. And then I put this cradle back at the, at the wall at the back of the club. So uh, when I'm taking photos from here, I can step up out of this uh, cradle and then take photos slightly above the heads because I'm already 1 meter 90, which is not that's, uh, I'm, which is quite tall, but uh, taking photos from above the crowd, it's better to be a bit higher, lift it up. So, and this is what you, of course, usually would like to take when taking from some back it's the horns showing metal concerts or people showing you know the hearts and to get this very special moment uh, with the musician just slightly shown so the focus is on the fan on the fans here this was my aim with this photo show this moment where the fans are showing their love towards the band but nevertheless show that it is a concert situation so it's also about focus of course open aperture here to get him uh, out of the uh, focus uh, on the stack, but uh, also enough showing from the back end so you get the situation and get the story behind this. Yep. As I said, nowadays you've got often smartphones held up and it can be really annoying, but sometimes I make use of it as well. Uh, over here, this is photo I used as it is and I've got awarded already some some awards, uh, which is showing, showing just the situation as it is at concerts. But sometimes I make use of the phones and I will show what is happening on stage via the smartphone. So I'm focusing on the smartphones and I see that well, someone's filling it up and he's is doing a quite good job. So uh, the photo on the display is quite clear and sharp. I try to get a get grip of this moment. I can see here and here. Um, to take the photo, but the challenge here for me is also uh, not only show this one, but you have to get at least a little bit around it, but not too bright, not too strong, so you can get the situation where the photo was taken, but without any disturbing uh, things around, not too much light, no direct spotlights, uh, so it's just getting this a uh, moment of a fan showing, uh, filming um, the concert and get this one here. And <laughs> as I said, it'd be a quite annoying cameraman of the Maruna Festival uh, who's just going left and right, left and right. And there are many shots I missed just because I, it was just the perfect moment there and just see <laughs> walk through, the, through my shot and it was gone. But here it was by purpose. Uh, that I took uh, a photo of him filming uh, Ruth Engel and here also uh, trying to get the complete story uh, of the situation on stage, which was captured by this cameraman. And if you're interested, I can send you the link because this show, which was also filmed by this man, is available online on the internet because uh, there's a full stream of the show of Ruth Engel at. Baraluna Festival.
Just one thing, if I'm speaking too fast, I know that I tend to be too fast. Just please say, ah, slow down a little bit and I will do so immediately, at least for the next five minutes. I promise to do so. This photo here uh, is another one I was going, I was, would like to show you also the one of the challenges you're facing when you get the opportunity to take full show images, especially as a large venue like this one here, you're again at Fury of the Slaughterhouse, a uh, venue in Hanover, 12,000 people, sold out three days in a row. I was with them backstage, on stage, doing uh, full show photography. Um, what we can see here is the front of house as it built set up. You can see it up here as well, where the light technicians are. You can see the stage there, and you've got the pit around here, which is just behind this metal bar going around the stage here. And this photo was taken from up here. You can imagine this is not just around the corner. If you want to go from this one, from the pit towards uh, the FOH, front of house, especially if, if it is crowded inside, and going from there back to the side, going up stairs, going down, running around uh, the stadium, running up stages up to the top, running down again, getting back into the pit. So it's a kind of sport doing so. But what you always have to be aware of, as I mentioned before, there's no chance for a missed shot. And you know, when you're moving, Every time you're moving to get a new position for different motives from different position, you're losing moments of this concert. You have to be aware of this. So you have to decide very well when to move, uh, where to move, how often you change positions. Of course, it's very helpful if you get the set list ahead, if you know the band, you know the songs, and you can decide, okay, probably this song is not that highlight song with all the lighters up or with a large crowd of action. So I might change, use this song to change position. And within the next photos that are just photos I would like, photos taken at this concert, I would just walk around with you from the pit, going on stage, going to the side of the venue here, and then going to front of house, and then from here, back of front of house just a little journey through this venue uh, with photos taken there. This photo was taken out of the pit. It's showing you also one of the challenges, little light. Uh, I personally like this moment very well. Christoph likes it as well, very much. As you can see here, there was very little light at that moment, but it was just on him. And this is also what I like here, although he's, standing in front of 12,000 people playing his guitar there. It was a very special one created by an international known artist, uh, Andorra. Uh, while he's playing there, he nevertheless is on his own at this moment. He's just on his own. He's there lost in music, like I like to say. He's lost in music, he's lost in his playing. And this is what I want to uh, capture with this photo the moment where he's just playing there in front of 12,000 people, playing just him and his instrument, just a little light on him, uh, just some light on the microphone so you can see that is, there's something, a live situation here. He's playing his instrument there. This was this photo was taken from the pit. Then I move around towards on stage. And this is the same concert. That's Christoph standing there in front. Just the first one was taken from down there towards there. Now I moved around the stage up there. And uh, I knew that at this song, uh, people would hold up their lighters in the past, no smartphones, but with the smartphone lights. And here it's a good thing to capture the moment, to capture the crowd interaction. You know? uh, this was Radio Orchid, you know, if you know the band, you know the song, you know, Radio Orchid, people will raise the lighters uh, or the smartphones to take this photo. Uh, of course, challenge taking photos from here, you can imagine it's quite dark in the background. There's some lighters up there, but nevertheless, it's quite dark. And there's some much, there's much more light on the musicians here in front. So the challenge is also to find this 
as Mukesh asked already in his introductory question, how to get the balance between uh, those huge contrasts. And it's always a uh, thing uh, better to push uh, the dark areas than you've got no uh, absolute no structures in the brighter areas. But it's always a thing of just trying to get, get it uh, the best way. And uh, to do so, uh, of course, you can have a look at the display afterwards, but uh, looking at the display all the time, if the lighting is or cable also mean missed moments. So therefore it's a lot of just experience uh, that you know, it's a short look of, but if you know after some time what uh, you have to do with this situation here to get it uh, set up right. This is another shot also from backstage, also when I was up there. Uh, also a situation you can find there and it's, it's absolutely opposite. This photo and this photo both taken just, I don't, I don't look if it was taken on two days, but it could be just a second afterwards. Same situation, but completely different look and feel. This is also uh, something I like to take photos at concerts with silhouettes with strong contrast, black and white where everything is reduced uh, just to the moment. Uh, it's just him, Kai, the singer, in front of the crowd, which you can see, which is but not too prominent. You can see that there's a crowd, but not too prominent because it's about him and the spotlight. It's all lights on him, uh, but you can still see the crowd in the background, uh, can understand what the situation is. And uh, if knowing the band, I want to go back here. If you know the band, and you know the song, this photo will, it's kind of music to see because you just get the, the song in your mind. So here I rushed around um, the stadium towards the side. And here I took a photo from the side of the stadium. Uh, situation from the light is about the same we had before. Great spotlights on the band here, which is went up to the front of the stage, but there's also some light on the back. And here was, of course, also the challenge again, uh, getting the crowd not too prominent, getting the band, but you've got large dark areas and bright areas of the musicians here. So uh, thing is to put the metering on this situation, you have to get this one correct and have to do, have to find a compromise that the rest is also okay. So you have, but this is the most important part of the story. This is what you have in mind. You have to have in mind in taking photos. What is the most important <coughs> part of this photo? You have to put the correct lighting, light, light measuring on this, and the rest has to follow. If there's contrast is too big, find your main topic, focus not only it, but also focus the light on it which is different to other situations, probably you can find the right metering here and then uh, the rest has to follow uh, in par with parameters that keep this group of musicians here in our correct light. We move around further through the stadium and now I'm here in the middle of the crowd at, at front of house, so it was just like running around and just finding your way through the people there. Sorry, sorry, photographer in charge. Could you please let me pass? And getting into this area here. And again, as you can see, large contrasts. And here, the most important thing for me, the story was there's a lot of technical equipment used to, uh, to get a concert run. So it's, this here is the everything about uh, this place here, this workplace here. The title of the photo is Everything Under Control at Führer in the Slaughterhouse, because this, those people here control the light and the sound. And uh, the story I wanted to share with this photo here is put them in the right light. Also, it's just that much light on him that you can see that a person sitting here. So it's quite easy to get this one done here, but. Uh, you might miss the person sitting here. And this complete story is there's one sitting here, hand on computers and joysticks, uh, doing the light, doing the sound. Uh, he's controlling cameras, as you can see, because he all the camera views, the cameras are there. 
But with all this here in focus, it wouldn't work if there wouldn't be at least something you can see in the background. So the, where, where does it take place? What is he doing there? So where, where is the context of this photo? And from here, I just ran around further, went back, not through the crowd, but back to the catacombs, running around, getting back. And you guys can see here, this thing is up here where my mouse pointer is. This is where front of house was, where I was before. So just running around, you can see front of house here, back of the venue. It's similar to the, it's, I think it's exactly the photo I have, but here, up from my background and took the photo from, from the back and, and the task here is again, bright stage, try to get it not completely white. And the story here is there are thousands of people enjoying the show, people, thousands of people there. So you have to find uh, not only focus here on the people here in front of me, but also um, showing all the people around, even up here, uh, getting into the dark, but at least show something, so that it should be absolutely dark there because it would, it would lose the feeling. Uh, you see only people here in dark areas around. So you need to have uh, people standing up there, sitting there, uh, with seats up there, enjoying the show. Yep. This was a walk around through this venue. And now coming to the next photos, I'll talk about uh, also different opportunities you can find when taking photos. If you're in the pit uh, and you said, this is one of your favorite photos, what a 10 out of 10 I would send to you. And it's also a photo I really like very much. And it's also a photo that got, it win a lot of awards uh, at the photojournalism section. Uh, as it is showing, it is Andy LaPlegua of Combi Christ. Uh, very interesting band, but uh, you need to love this music because it's a kind of industrial noise metal uh, mashup. Um, but what you can see here is just the fans, just uh, the crowd, all focusing on him, raising his hands towards him. He's in acting with them. But the main important thing for me, the story which takes place, are those two down here in the left bottom, the left corner. Uh, I've got a complete series of these photos and it was, it was really just like those two. And before they were just looking at you, should I, should I touch him there? Should I do it? And he said, yeah, okay, let's do it. And she, she put her hand on, well, in his butt. And uh, this was just the moment uh, I captured here with the, those two interacting and yeah, I'll do this. And this is the moment uh, taken happening here, uh, 25,000 25, people at this festival. Uh, it's the crowd back there, but it's about something that's happening just in front here. Um, you saw him crowd surfing also in the top 10, but when he was coming towards me, when I was in the pit, uh, he was on stage, so change positions. <laughs> so the singer is, I had downstairs, down at the crowd, uh, floor level, and I was upstairs on the stage to take this photo with him starting his crowd surfing journey. And, uh, of course, lots of contrasts. You had to do some compromise with the bright areas and darker areas here. Um, one thing you, could, you might discuss about uh, letters in photos, of course, always take your attention, but here, it was meant, I was happy that I could catch him in front here and the crowd there. There was some equipment before, so I couldn't get him completely because it shows the security here who's securing him, Daniel of Unzucht, a German band from Hanover area, who's starting his crowd surfing journey. And this photo was also in the top 10. Here you can see it coming back towards the stage. Uh, same venue, but not the same show, of course, because I didn't run downwards to take the photo then. Here, uh, another year, they played again there. Those who look carefully, no, <laughs> no uh, hat or no uh, cap on here, but cap on here. But uh, this is also uh, something uh, 
I really like to capture besides the musicians sharing their musicianship is the interaction of the fans and the crowd with the musician. And the challenge here is just, of course, uh, to find your position there and uh, where you can take this photo. Uh, if it's during the first three songs, which happens as well, try to find a position where you can catch him and try to get a position where you've got no hands and no smartphones between you and the musician, because this happens also as well. Devil horns, nice to have, but of course not in front of him, of his face at this moment. Yep. And um, next thing, next topic you can capture uh, at concerts might be pyro effects, effects or fire effects like here. here you've got uh, the band Fireschwanz again, uh, which means fire tail, which, is, <laughs> which suits towards uh, the fire they used here. Uh, and uh, capturing fire effects is also a real challenge because we can imagine it's a very brief moment where they appear that's extremely bright from one second to the next because you've got it's completely with a dark quite dark stage and suddenly you've got the fire flames coming up in front of you so the light and transitions changes between a brief of a second moment of a second and uh, so capturing flames with textures and the band itself is quite challenging. And again, uh, better you have structure in the flames and the background darker, so you can push the background better than having just, uh, quite often you'll see uh, flames here just white and yellow because they're burned out areas, burned out well, in the most literal way because it's just too challenging to get this so. Here, another one showing, uh, capturing uh, uh, pyro effects, pyro effects again, and uh, from all different areas. Here, quite rather seen from on stage with the fans in the background. Jump shots, quite a new one and uh, a shot I really appreciate. A lot just taken two weeks or three weeks ago at Marina Festival. Also, one challenge and one thing you makes really happy as a photographer is having uh, uh, a photographer, uh, a musician while he's jumping. The, the difficult thing is you don't never know who's going to jump and when this person is going to jump. So you have to find this moment to capture this moment. Second. This one we've seen already ahead. Uh, also, one of my favorite shots, and also uh, several times awarded across uh, the globe, and also at German National Photo Art Championship, which was one of the images uh, I had when winning the national title. Um, this is a very special photo for for one reason already, because usually the drummer is placed at the back, at the backdrop with his back towards the backdrop. But the band positioned him for this show only, uh, facing uh, not towards the crowd, but with his side towards the crowd, which gave me the opportunity to go behind him and to capture him from the side. And what is was important for me with this one, of course, the filigrane hair, Showing here, you can see the dynamics, but also you can. There's something textural left on his face, and nevertheless, you can see the crowd on the back and the clouds. So this is definitely also one of my favorite shots I took. Interaction of the fan of the band members also something very important to capture when taking photos at concerts. Another photo of mine that got a lot of awards and that I really like, and this one shows another thing you can uh, utilize when taking photos is if they have got back, back screens, screens in the back. So trying to get this one here, a double musician, and, the, and also the, him, him from the front and also friends from the front. 
trying to capture this, capture this moment. Uh, yeah, and here, just the big brother is watching you, which was why I like this photo. Um, as I said, already had, it's capturing the right, the moment, and, and talk about reading the light. This light wasn't there all the time. It was just a moving light going around, going around. And uh, I took a couple of shots where it wasn't there, but this was what I was waiting for. Capture this special yes. moment, this one moment where his face is just hit by the light and capture this and uh, this one brief moment within the concert. Capturing light again. This one also you can find they quite often focus lights, which is focused on one one member of the band and uh, yep, trying to capture him. Mukesh, I don't know from time how much time's left. Otherwise, I would just move forward to some more of my favorite shots. Yes, please carry on, Olga. We have got almost yeah. 15, 20 minutes time. Mm -hmm. Please carry on. So, yeah, another one also. One of my personal favorite shots, uh, oh, famous musician, 70 years old, well, when I took this photo, not me, but him. And, uh, but laser lights uh, catching this moment where he's in there, I was, it was about changing my position to capture, to get him into this position where he's inside the light. And yeah, extreme lights, something you can find at the concert as well. Uh, I sprecher again, but this time an indoor show of them. And again, uh, getting everything, this complete story of the musicians, which are focused, but nevertheless, their fans there in one shot. This photo was also within the top 10. Uh, I sprecher at Maruna Festival, and they're performing their song. Uh, Ice site, which means ice age. <laughs> and you know this, every fan knows them when seeing this photo, you hear the song because for this song, they dress up with uh, polar uh, journey equipment and clothing, and uh, there will be artificial snow on stage. Uh, at this time, it had about 30 degrees <laughs> and uh, it's snowing on stage. But this was capturing the light, capturing the moment. And also this ray of light here to find a position that he's there. It's just like uh, getting this special moment. This photo was taken from front of house, which I showed you at Maraguna, this big building at the back. And I went upstairs there. I was allowed to go there and take photos, uh, which gave me the opportunity to take this quite unique photo of this moment. Another photo um, showing, the, showing the light conditions with the fans in the background, uh, showing the uh, lights and uh, one of my favorite shots as well, as this is quite intimate moment on stage, acoustic setting, uh, just the lights in the back and the musicians all lost in their music. Uh, same show, uh, different position, complete different look and feel from this time from, from the crowd, to, crowd towards the band and black and white, hot contrasts and extreme light conditions. Also a photo that uh, win a couple of awards around the world. From the same with this one, uh, this time also again, what I personally like very much large, strong contrast, black and white, and uh, um, taking everything back, reducing everything uh, just to the lights and the silhouettes of the people. This photo, I call it, this photo has got the title, Creating Galaxies. <laughs> it shows uh, Chris Harms of Lord of Lost, uh, while he's just, he drank some, took some water and he was just spinning up in the air and I was uh, lucky and fast enough, lucky to be at the right position and fast enough to capture this moment uh, when he was just spinning up the water and uh, there was some light hitting it. And so this is just like galaxies of galaxy out of water drops above him. And uh, yeah, another thing, 
general thing when focusing on one musician, you nevertheless have all the other musicians in focus. So quite often it's just like I'm focusing with two eyes open. I'm photographing with two eyes open, which is probably not that usual. Usually you close one eye and use one eye uh, for the camera, but uh, concept photography often means having both eyes open. One, you're using uh, uh, your search to take the photo, with the other one you're scanning what's happening on stage because while one is doing a nice thing, another member of the band could do a fantastic thing. So it's about having everything um, have an overview while focusing on one thing and also definitely a uh, special shot here. This photo, Class Grenade, uh, also a best player of a lot of Lost, uh, also uh, often used uh, shot of mine for uh, competitions, often awarded. Uh, it's all about him, his contact, eye contact with the fans, not with me, but you can see that he's focused on the fans. Uh, you've got sunlight, uh, which is not directly in front of him, but some other lights just on his hair, which is blowing in the wind, just blowing in the wind, also sun. And while he's standing here playing his bass guitar, uh, also nice for endorsement shots. If it's nice, it's always nice for band members. They're happy if you can see that the equipment they're using because the guitar companies like those shots as well. So a very special moment. Uh, him focus on the band. Perfect light at this moment from my point of view. Often used and uh, as I say, also all the focus on the musician, just some light, nothing disturbs. This is what I call uh, the essence of music shots for myself because it's just, everything is just about the musician, his look, his musicianship, his, his way of playing, extroverted, introverted, nothing can disturb, just the musician, just the light or some fog, nothing else. Um, that's a kind of series I have within my portfolio, which I call the essence of music. Not the essence of music, but uh, another very new shot I did and still one of my favorite shots. I uh, went into my own favorite league because of the, all the lights going on here. Also, uh, the, his, well, energetic playing while uh, uh, Jamie is just exposing himself while uh, Andy is just standing there enjoying the moment. And uh, that's what I like, especially about this photo beside the light. Uh, it's just him performing and he is the boss of the band. He's a singer, he's the mastermind composer. Just, you can see, enjoying the moment and the crowd in action. So it's also a story told with one photo and uh, challenging light conditions. This photo is probably, if you talk about a signature shot uh, from myself, this would definitely be one of them, together with the polar bear. And uh, this is showing Graf Lindorf of the band Coppelius, uh, the band I mentioned very in the, in, the early, in the early part of my presentation when I was showing the venue with no pit. This was Coppelius as well. And here also everything just reduced to this, to him, nothing else. And his just, just so energetic playing, just nothing like him and just him and his instrument and his power. Um, the foot is called Graf Lindhoff of Coppelius and definitely uh, one of the most successful shots. Another one of the most successful shots, this one also with the top 10 show you had which is Let's Day Instance. And I mentioned the band, just me with them, at standing between them. Uh, that's uh, their cellist, uh, Benny Cellini. And he is known for his energetic way of playing with his uh, dreadlocks throwing around while he's playing uh, his e-cello. Well, by the way, interesting instrument as well. And uh, also one of the very popular images I have uh, showing his energetic playing with, you can see how much he is into it. Just his face is just as an expression while he's playing. 
a new uh, favorite shot of mine, uh, Ali Berlin of uh, band Null Positive. Uh, she's energetic as well. I can imagine from her appearance. Uh, she's a great performer and I've got a whole set of shots with her. I uh, did a portfolio also for competitions with just photos of her. And they were opener at Maruna Festival and uh, they were only, their set was 20 minutes and I could shoot those 20 minutes. And there are bands like this, you know, if you shoot them, you will get within 20 minutes, you get more great shots than the other bands if you can do two hours with them because they are so energetic. Also one of my uh, most Popular shots, also multi times awarded, also at official FIA competition. Every time it comes to COVID photos, COVID related photos, because the very special thing here is what you see there are no fans in the background but cars. In Hanover, during pandemic, during the early part of the pandemic, you have to say, the first year of the pandemic, there was a complete lockdown, no concert, of course. And in Hanover, they said, well, let, nevertheless, we'd like to have concerts, but people will sit in their cars in front of stage. So there were only a few concerts probably across the globe and some concerts in Hanover. And I was able to shoot this band at, at the concert. And uh, it was a strange feeling, but nevertheless for me as photographer, it was possible to capture this, hopefully not coming back moment in time when there were no fans, but just cars. It's kind of heavy metal <laughs> concert, although they were not playing metal. Another one of the uh, iconic shots, let's call it like this, also within my top 10, Nick Rossi of Combi Christ, again this band, also a bunch of just maniacs. Uh, and uh, you can imagine shooting this band means you have to eye everywhere because all members are just mad like him and they're performing like hell trying to capture them. This one was also uh, in my introduction. You uh, mentioned already the contrasts here in this photo. And also he was just completely with black, covered with black color. And there were, luckily there were just some light chain, light positions on his skin so that he was not gone before the background. And they were also open at Maraluna, also only 20 minutes to capture the complete show. Uh, Great band and one of my favorite shots, like this one. This one is uh, Stahlmann performing Maruna Festival, and uh, they are a great band in performing. And here it was, of course, the main thing is the light, uh, the mask they're wearing, and also the interaction. So, therefore, also uh, one of the, the multi-time awarded shots of mine. Like this one, also Stahlmann, uh, different, same show, the drama, uh, complete different light setting, but this is what concert photography is about. It was about the same show, a different, complete look and feel, same show, probably some minutes in between. Uh, it's just, you have to take what you get and make the best out of it. And that's what I always try to get the best out of it. Here you've got also, uh, this photo was also a cover photo on German letters on the journal of the German Photographic Association, uh, showing just uh, capturing the moment with the hair flowing uh, was also uh, something very nice. And uh, quite often, due to these shots, I get into contact with the bands because there are bands I'm not in contact ahead. I take the photo, I'll provide the photos via social media towards them. And if they like them, which happens very often, luckily, um, afterwards I'm in contact and whenever they're playing again and I ask if there's a chance to shoot their show, they say, yes, of course. And I can shoot the next show, full show, accessory areas uh, because of the photos I took at the first time I saw them probably at the room festival. Yep, another uh, favorite shot of mine. Uh, didn't get so much awards. I don't know why, because I really love this photo as it has got dynamics. It's, it's not his hairstyle. It's just like, because he's just throwing his hat. It's also about the light and about his way of performing. 
just like here also playing with the lights is what uh, is my passion and it's a challenge and also the the satisfaction afterwards if you got a shot very where you were able to capture the light to manage the light and uh, here like the depth of the photo because here in front with the wide angle taken and uh, in the background another musician yep yep again the same concept like i had before this one is just about the moment uh, he saw me taking photos from the back and i said yeah cheers on stage and uh, that's a kind of photographer musician interaction yep also a photo of this concert got which did win a couple of awards as it is showing uh yeah one moment in time we all focused COVID and uh here you can see uh, what applause looked like at the concerts people instead of clapping hands they used their besides signal horns which you cannot capture a photo but they used their uh direction indicators, their uh, signal lights in order to show their appreciation for the band, for the song, for their performance. And uh, special situation, special photos here went down in between the crowd. <laughs> it was quite easy to move across the crowd here because we're just uh, 1000 cars, really 1000 cars in front of stage. And uh, my challenge here and uh, what I want to catch catch on the photo was that there are cars in front of the stage. Uh, uh, people had fun, they had did their own, bring their own lights. And you nevertheless can see where it was taken, that it was a concert, that something was happening on stage. And uh, here I thought, and I, this would be a place I could stop my presentation because I've got, I've got some more photos in the back end, but uh, I think this uh, is, quite a very unusual photo because as I mentioned, they had usually there's no time to use special equipments to try things, but uh, they played uh, at the concert, uh, several concerts, three concerts, card concerts. I know what I was expecting. And I had to, when the, before the concert started, I went to the owners of the car because this last year I took with me, I put it on the roof of a car, I asked them, is it okay to, if I can put it here, I will not damage the car. And later I just uh, went around, went to that car so I could uh, take, a, take a photo of uh, a concert through a glass sphere with the lights around here and the complete stage within the glass sphere, but of course, as it happens, upside down, and uh, which is, let's say, a very unique shot uh, of concert photography. I think this would be the place to stop if you would like me to continue, of course, but uh, this, because I think from time, it should fit. And uh, just on you, Mukesh. Okay. Because there will be several more I have got outside. Maybe I will just uh, just take two out of those shots because this would be interesting. Because this photo, as you can see it here, it's showing uh, Covenant, a Swedish electro band. And if you have a look at this, and if you have a look at my logo of music to see, you will see. You remember the moment. Uh, this is for me somehow an iconic shot because this is part of my logo the complete logo is on the back of my uh, shirt which is also showing a photographer taking this moment in time so therefore this was a very special photo of myself and a recent very recent photo mm, well let's take two more photos of them this one is also a favorite shot of mine also did win some awards uh, as it is just uh, getting close to the musician, really close. <laughs> he didn't try to uh, step on me. Uh, we know each other, we like each other. He was just like uh, kind of dancing while playing. It's Corpus Corax, a German, uh, let's say, historic band. They play the best of 1,000 years of music. They build all their instruments themselves. They uh, do all their clothing themselves. And 
and uh, this was what I also want to capture here. The art not only of performing music, but also the art of their instruments and their clothing and everything what stands for them. And a very recent shot, which I'm, but I will start now entering at the competition again. I really like it. And we saw already uh, this shots of this song I had. You probably know which song it is, which band it is. If you listen carefully, it's Icebreaker with Ice Zeit, Ice Age again. And you saw this complete image with complete stage, which I took three years ago at Maruna Festival 2018. They were playing there. Uh, when I was taking a photo from front of house. And this time I said, uh, they asked you, can you take photo front of house again? Uh, I said, yes, but I will not be at front of house when you're performing this song, because this time I want to be in the pit and take photos from the pit of this song. And this is a photo I've taken there. And uh, uh, this is, it looks like other photos I take it uh, from uh, portraits, they sometimes look like they might be taken at, at the studio, and which yeah. is kind of which is kind of compliment for myself, because uh, you say, oh, it's nice, it's nice for a studio shot, probably not nothing that uh, uh, spectacular for for a studio shot, but you have to imagine all my musician shots, whenever you see them, they all taken live, so there is. Uh, I had no influence on the, the musician's position, no influence on the light, no on the movement. There are thing, happening things around. It's just one captured moment of one and a half and two hours, probably. Uh, and this is a very recent one and definitely uh, one of my all-time favorite shots I've ever had already because I just like this moment, his look towards the fans, the situation. The snow, the artificial snow, the light. Yep. And I think this is a good uh, position to stop here. And I will then. Thank you very much. Over back to Mukesh. Wonderful presentation. And particularly, uh, I loved your uh, use of foreground to get focused on the main concert. You have used it fantastically. Likewise, raising hands in the foreground. Then, uh, cell phones hands. That image was fantastic. In the foreground, all the crowd is having... Uh, Sorry, there's... Okay, the like a, Sorry, Mukesh, it's difficult to understand it because someone's got a uh, background music or a sound. Uh, please, uh, please mute yourself. <laughs> yeah. Mute okay. yourself, otherwise you're very... <laughs> okay. That's again, that's okay. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, Holger, that's uh, the way you have used the foreground to uh, get uh, viewers focused on the main concert in the front. It's fantastic. Likewise, in one of the frame, I have seen uh, raising hands and getting a silhouette of the hands. And then uh, uh, use of cell phones uh, by the complete, uh, uh, you can say, the spectators. That has added a lot to the, your frame. So you are very, very good. And uh, uh, the challenge you have done it with the uh, I can say capturing the right moment with the right color and perfection in exposure. It's fantastic. Uh, now, before I uh, uh, open the forum for the question and answer, uh, I think Satish Ji, you are here, sir. Satish Ji? Satish Ji, are you here? Ah, yes, sir. I'm here. Yeah, yeah, Satish yes. Ji, you to say something about today's presentation. Uh, I think this is one of the best uh, programs I have seen. And uh, particularly uh, taking images at uh, concerts is one of the most difficult uh, and challenging areas. And each picture is an award winner. In fact, uh, the lighting he has used, the exposures he has given, and the composition, in every aspect, it's a perfection. And uh, thanks to... Uh, Mukesh and uh, DCC for bringing Mr. Holger to uh, India and particularly giving a treat for our eyes. It is a fantastic show today. Thank you, Mr. Holger, and uh, absolutely mesmerizing images. Thank you so much. Thank you much. very much for these very, very kind words. Uh, I really feel honored. Thank you. 
Thanks, Olga. There are some questions. Maybe yeah. you cannot see it in the chat, but people are interested and have some questions. One is, do you use a flash? No, never ever, because uh, there's one. there are several rules and one of the most important rules, never use a flash at concerts, uh, because you have to imagine uh, the band members playing towards the band. Uh, if there would be a flashlight from, uh, from the pit, uh, they would be blinded. And so therefore, quite often you, you think it would be nice to have one, but otherwise it would also destroy what it looks like at concerts usually. So never a flashlight, everything, all photos were done with uh, available light, which, which was there. Another question, which lens you use the most And which one is your favorite? That's very easy to answer. I usually, I always have two lenses with me. I've got two camera bodies with me. Uh, on the left-hand side, I always have a uh, wide angle zoom, which is the Canon 2470 uh, millimeter lens, F, uh, F F2, 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 2.8, sorry. Uh, which is for capturing the complete scene. But the most used and my favorite lens is the 7200 millimeter lens, which I always use at concerts. And nearly all the portraits were shot with this one. I own myself only the Sigma uh, 7200 uh, 2.8 uh, lens, but uh, for special occasions like Maraluna Festival, which is for me my highlight each year, I sometimes borrow, uh, I hire lances, and then uh, usually I have the Canon 7200 2.8, but never always those two ranges I have with me because there's no chance of changing. And so I have got from 24 to 200 meters, everything with me. Another question, why three songs only? Um, well, you have to say, There are some, even some managements to say only one or two songs, which is really annoying. If you're usually you get to know this ahead, only there. Usually it's only the first three songs, just one thing. It might be also songs two, three, and four, or three, four, five. There's pyro effects at the moment in the first two songs, which are too dangerous for the photographers in the pit. The reason for this is you have, of course, to be aware. If you see this huge number of photographers within the pit, and you've got the people in the first row, and all the photographers running around within the pit, and taking photos and sometimes holding up the cameras would be really annoying to the fans and also somehow also disturbing for the musicians. So therefore the photographers, it's usually only the first three songs and only one or two official crew photographers are allowed to do the full show there. Another question, how many cameras one carries? Uh, as I always have two cameras with me and you can say that I would say probably about 80% of the photographers within the pit have two cameras with them because there's absolutely no chance to change. And also another rule, which is very important, if you ever get a chance to take photos at concerts, never ever you take your backpack with, with you into the pit. So you have to carry all your equipment with you because someone's running around with a backpack and it's already crowded and narrow. Uh, really, it's really annoying for all the other photographers. So you have to have everything with you or you have to leave the pit to change which there is usually no time. So it's usually two camera bodies. There are some already the third one ahead of them, but usually it's two cameras. And I think this is the last question, bracketing. Uh, never, uh, I mean, automatic bracketing was taking uh, several photos and putting them together, which is something not possible at, usually at concerts as things are changing so much, people are moving, Situations are changing, so it's all all photos you've seen here are just one shot, no HDR, nothing like this. It's just one shot and uh, make the best out of it, what you get. Thank you so much, Holger. And because your portrait images especially look as if they are done in a studio, you make it better like other people uh, take studio portrait images. You are really, for me, the master of this. Yes, uh, music yes. photography. And that yes. is why we came in contact and why we are now together in the club. Thank you so yes. much. I'm happy that you have shown all the people here uh, your masterclass images. Thank you. Thank, thank you, very you. Much. Thank you Barbara. And thanks, thank Barbara, for uh, going through the chat box.
uh, 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 still uh, it is open for question and answer. Uh, any participants that can so, should feel free to ask any question from Mr. Holger. Only Please. one, uh, only one uh, expression. Oh my God! It was amazing. <laughs> it was just fantastic. Never yeah. saw such pictures. You know, I have only seen in uh, some magazines, but this was awestruck. And especially, I like the uh, concert with the cars. Uh, mm -hmm. That was that was something very unique. First time I saw this. This is thank you, Mr. Hogar. Uh, you did a wonderful job for all of us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any um, more questions? Maybe just one thing, if you, just in case you're interested in more photos of this, uh, where you can find the photos, uh, if you have a look on Facebook or on Instagram, Music to See, as it is up here also, or uh, I think also in the, in the direction uh, which was sent around. Uh, and Mukesh, Music to See is my handle at all social media things yeah, where you can yeah, find yeah. the photos. But of course, if you want to ask questions, feel free to contact me. Sure, sure. Uh, thank you very much, Olga. Uh, now I think you are getting late, so I will request uh, our um, very senior member and founder member, Subarna Banerjee, uh, to give vote of thanks. Subarna, please. Thank you, sir. Am I audible, sir? Yeah, yeah, you are audible. Thank you, sir, so much. My heartfelt gratitude for today's guests. Holger, sir, for the wonderful presentation on concert photography. This is something very new we saw and we learned. Thank you so much, sir, for the wonderful, actually excellent and magical session, we must say. I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to Barbara, ma'am, for gracing this wonderful webinar. Thank you so much, ma'am. My thanks to all the eminent personalities present over here today. Anil Risal Singh, sir, Akhil Hardia, sir, Shubroto, sir, and all the eminent personalities who are present, who gave their precious time for to attend this webinar. Thank you so much, sir. Then I would like to extend my thanks to our very, very respected Mukesh Shivastha, sir, for arranging this webinar for, uh, for all of us, because without him, we can't do anything. He is the one who arranges and does everything for all of us. Thank you so much, sir. And at last, I would like to thank all the participants for taking out time from your busy schedule and attending this webinar. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Subhanai. Thank you. Thank you so much. Big clap for the Olga. Very nice. Very nice. Very, very, yeah, thank you. Thanks. Thanks a lot. And... Uh, uh, you can feel uh, if you have any more questions, you can directly contact Holger on Facebook and Instagram. Okay, I will also uh, give the okay. link the link in the group also so that you can easily contact him. Okay. Okay. And Holger, thanks, thanks again, Holger. I think uh, uh, the kind of a dream I had to uh, get the concert photography presentation, it was hundred by hundred by you. Thanks, thanks a lot and thank you very much. And thanks to Barbara uh, who uh, uh, introduced you to me uh, uh, to, to come to this stage. Thanks, thanks all participants. Okay. Okay. Good night thank to you. all. Thank good night. You so much. Have a good night. Thank you very much for spending your time. Good night, Holger.